Hi, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at how you can remotely control the pressure inside the Edelon of your Hydrogen Alpha Lunt telescope using the PC-USB controller from Lunt. Let's take a look at how it works. The Lunt Solar PC-USB is a device that allows you to remotely control the pressure in any of their pressure-tuned Edelons. This means you can be comfortably inside and make adjustments to the tuning of the Edelon from a remote location. It operates up to 10 hours on a charge or can be AC powered. In order to use the device, you need to first attach it to the Edelon. One end goes in the pressure output port of the controller. The other end is attached to the pressure tuner. Let's take a look at how you set that up. So to prepare your unit for use, you first have to replace the standard piston with the one that adapts to the air hose. So I'm going to first remove the black handle. Here I happen to have a double stack scope. I'm just going to do the air pressure adjustment on one. So first I take off the original handle. There's the piston inside. Now once I've done that, I can undo a cap on the end. I'll put that aside. And what I want to do is put a paper towel or a tissue on the bottom to hold the piston secure so, so that when I take the hex wrench and I stick it in the hole, I can then remove the screw without the piston rotating on me. So just removing the screw, I'll put it aside as well. And now I have the piston inside the handle and there's the original piston from the telescope assembly. Put that aside, there's the empty handle. Now I have a new piston. Now before I put this piston inside the handle, I'm going to, you'll also find you have an O-ring in your assembly. That's going to go on the bottom of your piston so that when you put it into the telescope, it creates a better pressure seal. But first I'm going to put the piston itself into the handle and now it's in the handle. Then they provide a connector, which will connect the piston to the air hose. So I'm now going to screw that in, and that will hold the piston in place. Hold it with my tissue, tighten it securely, so that I've got a good seal for the pressure. Okay, now I'm ready to take my O-ring and put it inside so that when I assemble this, I have a good seal. I think what I will do is turn the telescope on its side so that I can put the O-ring in the bottom securely and center it. That looks good. Now I will put the adjusted assembly in the handle back onto the telescope. In this case, I want to tighten it down securely so that there's a good pressure seal. Okay, that's snug. They provide an air hose, but before I put that on, I have an extra cap that goes on the end, and that's your completed assembly right here, just like this. Now I can take the air hose, I can connect one end into the controller. I can connect the other end into the Edelon handle. And now, if I turn the pressure up with the controller unit, We should see the pump has come on and it's going to be increasing the pressure so that the requested pressure and the final pressure should be roughly the same. And they are exactly the same. How about that? I'm going to increase this again and we'll take a look. That looks good. So this is working fine. I've got a good seal. Next thing to do is to take this outside and try it on the sun. Got the telescope 
and the camera on the telescope you've got one of the edelons connected to the pressure controller and then my laptop what I'm going to do now is record the screen capture that will show you what exactly the telescope's looking at on the screen all right so here's the Sun and I can change the pressure increase the pressure you already see some nice filaments here and that's obviously not going well so I'm going to lower the pressure again okay that's looking pretty good looking for good contrast on the filaments you can see good contrast here good contrast here so I can try making a small adjustment the clouds are coming back seeing in the clouds are not great but we can see how this works I can lower the pressure I can change the way the filaments look I can get good contrast That's pretty good. Let's see what else is going on. Yeah, lots of fun stuff happening today on the sun. You can see there's some hot active areas there. Reduce the gain a bit, exposure, so we don't get burned out on these hot, hot white spots. And great contrast on the filaments. see a nice prominence up there I can pull it up by doing that get it an IMPPG later make it come out a lot better just increases a bit more maybe try taking one more photograph or video capture yeah this is holding steady getting a beautiful cool little filament there the shape of that one and this gigantic one here yeah this is working great so I'll let this finish capturing and then i think um, you've seen how this works and I'll wrap it up there are 25 and 100 foot optional air tubes available so this should allow anyone to control their telescope in the backyard from inside the comfort of their house. If you want to control it remotely, the unit comes with software you can run on window via a USB connection. It allows you to raise or lower the pressure as you want. You can then control the unit remotely with software like AnyDesk or Chrome Remote Desktop from anywhere in the world. There are four main reasons I see you might want to use this instrument. First of all, this allows you to adjust the pressure of the Edelon without touching or jiggling the telescope. I often do time-lapse images of the sun, where I'm on the sun for several hours, and as the telescope tube heats up, this can adjust the pressure slightly inside, and you have to make minute adjustments occasionally. Having the ability to do this from a remote box eliminates the need to touch the telescope or make it jiggle during your imaging session. Second, you'll find there's probably a sweet spot where the pressure is just right to show the filaments and prominences the way you like them. If your telescope is more or less permanently set up, having this unit allows you to ensure you're right on band immediately as soon as you start to observe. Third, you may just want to be out of the sun when using the telescope. This allows you to control your telescope from the comfort of your house and adjust the pressure to get it tuned just right without being outside in the sun for hours. It's easy to add an electronic focuser to your telescope which would complete the picture operating it remotely. Finally, you might have an observatory in a remote location. This is essential gear if you want to do that kind of a setup and control a solar telescope from far away. Well, I hope this review has been helpful and look forward to seeing your comments. Thanks for watching.